Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Moconaman at YouTube with a, another model review. Today we will be building and reviewing the IBG Models Toddy 1, a Hungarian light tank utilized during the Second World War in the invasion of Yugoslavia as well as against uh, the Soviet Union. It's uh, quite a light tank, went through a series of modifications that were very uh, superficial in um, broadening armour. Uh, the colour scheme and the markings are very, very unique and it's just an insanely uh, obscure item to collect. Uh, as soon as it virtually uh, came out, it was uh, dropped in my lap. Being a light tank, the subject matter is very, very small. Being a big box, uh, you're going to be surprised to find a piece of paper. And four tiny runners uh, tidied up in a plastic bag. Initially a bit uh, disappointing, but uh, not too unusual for uh, our line of uh, modelling. The uh, box or chassis uh, goes together in a few pieces. Uh, the fit is okay, but takes a little time to uh, dry. Uh, the ultra fine uh, nippers that are uh, readily available as well as um, cement accelerant or to me an extra uh, thin uh, quick type is very useful in um, assembling this uh, very very quickly uh, the road wheels is a bit of a funny fit as well as the suspension i uh, be very careful in the uh, order and the way it goes in uh, getting crooked's quite easy so you'll find everything from the suspension level uh, past the uh, tracks to be extremely uh, tedious and probably uh, worthwhile using super glue or just uh, doing a few steps and allowing a large amount of time to uh, dry. Uh, conducting a quick build will uh, give um, wonky finish. But hey, the whole process is uh, character building and not too overly well um, unpleasant. The rest of the process, uh, the assembly of the hull, the extra details, the turrets, the guns, all of that fits together very, very nicely. Uh, the fine railing and uh, some of the tools do get removed uh, very, very well if you have uh, an appropriate set of uh, fine cutting nippers. Once uh, all together, the uh, proportions and detail look uh, very, very stunning and nice. Uh, not much in the way of uh, seam lines or faults. I did have a small uh, incident with an armor cover on uh, the very front, but uh, everything just uh, cracked together like an absolute dream. Uh, no complaints in that regards whatsoever. After everything has uh, dried and fully hardened, the whole tank, as usual, is primed in Tamiya Surface Primer via a 0.3mm airbrush, followed by an undercoat of Guy Note Surfacer Red Oxidize Red. Um, obviously, you could use a Tamiya paint or any other brand. It doesn't have to be Guy Notes. I just happen to have a giant uh, value bottle if you've uh, seen my other videos. And strategically using uh, Mr. Color uh, paints, I uh, ID'd uh, the colors off the box art and uh, chose them out um, to uh, a suitable green, brown, and sand color from uh, SMS as well using uh, AirTech 0.2 millimeter airbrush. I was able to uh, pick out the uh, lines and color scheme quite nicely with a touch of shading. Uh, the rest of the details such as some of the stowage tools, vents, guns, uh, tank tracks and whatnot were painted by hand in uh, lacquers and with a bit of black and smoke some further shading around the sides and underneath were done as well as uh, a bit of uh, blackening of the grills and the end of the gun. The decals were applied, a bit of a gloss coat, SMS flat coat to flatten everything down nicely, SMS sludge black wash to pick out any details and corners and whatnot. And uh, with the uh, finished result, uh, color wise, painting wise, very, very happy. 
It uh, does look very similar to the box art. Uh, those decals and colours and colour scheme uh, being a soft edge really, really pops. It's probably one of my most uh, favourite tank builds for a little while. Uh, a few criticisms, uh, a couple of things I'm not happy with, uh, probably uh, the wheels uh, mostly. Um, I did uh, probably rush it a tad too far at the uh, early stages. But uh, generally, very uh, satisfied with uh, how weird, unusual, and crazy this uh, subject is. Now, in the way of uh, limited uh, references, um, whatever existing um, examples might uh, be out there today, a friend of mine with a reference uh, CAD book to Real Tanks believes that uh, some of the uh, grills and vents may be a little too... Um, fine or chunky and slightly inaccurate in that regards uh, you can't really um, achieve uh, perfection on all fronts I suppose since uh, a lot of things are modeled and made uh, to uh, fit uh, injection molding molds for whatever reason uh, I'd like to have had the tracks to be a bit better um, one or two points if you look really finely they are slightly uh, disjointed but uh, with a finished result like this, I can't complain at all. I uh, definitely think it's a very, very cool project. I can definitely and highly uh, recommend this uh, brand. Uh, they have a whole plethora of uh, other unusual and obscure builds. And this particular kit is uh, a lot of fun. They do do the other variants. I assume it would be very, very similar except for the one or two parts that have changed such as uh, the turret thickened and probably slightly different guns and some things moved around. But uh, that's not a biggie. Um, different colour schemes uh, apply, of course. But being the most uh, colourful, interesting and vibrant one, uh, more or less the uh, choice I have uh, settled for. And yeah. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. Uh, keep a close eye on uh, Facebook for uh, regular uh, content pictures. Uh, videos are uh, being uploaded in the event that uh, YouTube does not um, notify you uh, properly. So check out the page probably uh, once a week and see what we're up to. Uh, Streaming every now and then, all sorts of projects, still trying to keep to the schedule of uh, weekly uploads or uh, two uploads a week. And uh, thank you very much for your prolonged support. Catch you guys next time.